last part of the pistol buys tutorial uh we're gonna be left with initiator for this one so i hope you guys are gonna enjoy remember this is for ranked those are my advices for ranked play and also it's my opinion so bear that in mind let's jump straight into the video so uh if you look to for different classes there are links here on the in the compendium above for all the videos uh but in general when it comes to initiators uh there's like in general the initiators have a terrible uh, opportunities to buy uh utility for pistol rounds it's always awkward it's always bad when it comes to the choices that you can do because you are missing something that you would really like to have because all of the utility pieces from initiators are incredibly important for execute but at the same time if you go for you full util you're most likely gonna play no shields and not a and no pistol which is not that great right so Typically in ranked, I would focus on the, on on actually buying a gun, unless you're a Sova or a Sky. But the Sky, personal choice. So let's go straight up. Gecko first. When it comes to the pistol round on attack, I would go always for a ghost and a wingman. Wingman, if if you're playing attack, your wingman should always be planting. Not a single time at the beginning of the round you should not think to take the spike and not plant with the wingman. Because that's your job. That's literally your task. So Wingman has to always be bought on attack every single round. That's your most important piece of util. Now, on attack, if you buy also the molly, then you don't have the cash for, an, for a weapon. And because of that, I would just choose to go for a weapon, for a ghost, and not choose the molly. Now, on attack on Sky, that's a personal choice. I feel like... Um, this is probably the weakest buy of all of, all of the uh, initiators here because I would always go for two flashes um, and the dog. And if you go for that, then why not buy the heal? Maybe it's going to get uh, useful. Unfortunately, because of that, you cannot buy a weapon because you don't have enough cash, right? So you have no shields and no gun. This feels pretty awful for ranked right? But the double flashes from Sky are just so incredibly impactful. Not only they deliver like pressure, but also um, the uh, the informations. And remember to use the free bird technique, which, allow, which allows you to be more um, aggressive, right? So if you don't know what I'm talking about, check in the playlist. There's a, there's a tutorial on how to flash with Sky Birds to be more efficient. Uh, so I would go for this, but if you don't want to listen to me, right? It's fine to go for just no additional flashes and a dog shield and a heal. But I personally would go for two flashes because I think they are very important. Now, KO feels absolutely dreadful, same as Fade, when it comes to the pistol round on attack. Like, either you go for a full util and you have no weapons, or you go for a weapon and just one piece of util. And, and in general, in ranked, I would favor that. So, in the case of Kayo, one flash and a ghost. In the case of Fade, one prowler and a ghost. Even though you would love to absolutely have two prowlers and a weapon. But that's not, not a possibility. Uh, when it comes to Sova, there's only one option. One option. There's no other option that you can buy on a pistol round on attack as a Sova. It has to be a drone and your shields. Right? Like, unless, of course, you want to go for the shock darts, but... No, no one should do that probably in ranked. So you should probably believe in yourself more and go for the shields with the Sova drone that is so needed for any, any kind of execute. And when it comes to breach, if you play with a duo that you're supporting with that breach, go for full util. But if you play just solo queue alone as a breach, I definitely go for a go, uh, ghost and a flash is the preferred choice. But if you have a duo teammate, a duelist that you want to support, full util on breach is incredibly powerful. Now, when it comes to defense side, Gecko. Now, this is, again, personal choice. Right now, after the change of the molly, that it deals damage before it explodes, I feel like it's powerful enough to warrant a buy from it, even when you don't have the gun, because the tick damage will most likely kill with one headshot because of that, right, with the classic, but also Wingman is great for retakes, and you have a flash already, so you have, like, full kit um, that should be very impactful on the pistol round. Now, if you don't want to go, then go for the same bias here, Ghost and a, and a Wingman, because Wingman is needed. Now, like, you have a lot of stopping power here on the pistol mount because Wingman's 80 HP, so he takes three bullets, um, and uh, the Molly single-handedly stops an entire execute or gives you kills. 
the, the, the range is just insane. Now on Sky, on defense, I would definitely prefer to have a ghost and two flashes and try to be aggressive with the free bird technique that I explained before. So check that tutorial for that. Like that's 100% on defense, something that I would play. Um, because on attack, if you would like, you could argue that you can go on attack with two flashes and a ghost, but not having the dog on attack might be a little bit trolling. Specifically when there's, for example, a, a cipher. Like the dog and a cipher is great because it can destroy um, cipher traps as well, right? Um, KO, same buy on defense. That's about it. Not really much to talk about, just flash and a ghost. Um, the molly is great when it comes to stopping a potential push, but doesn't have the same range as the gecko molly, so it's not as efficient and harder to use because of that. So I wouldn't take it. And then for fate, same buy as well. You trust yourself with the ghost and just one prowler to get either early informations or try to stop a potential execute, but they're not as good as they were anymore before. And then on Sova, on defense, I'm definitely going for, for two shock darts and a ghost because there's potentially um, a lot of pressure or like uh, you can use the shock darts to stop an opposing Sova sky uh, to like uh, use the drone or the dog because of the shock dart damage. You can stop that from happening, right? And ghost, just a ghost. Um, breach, same story as I would say on attack. If you have a duo mate that you want to support, probably full kit is better. But if you play alone, uh, then one flash and a ghost is definitely the choice for you. Um, and you try to be just aggressive with the ghost and the one flash that you have. Stun, also remember, is incredibly powerful at the beginning of round two. Just use it first tempo and establish control of that portion of the map. So that's already one impactful piece of utility there. That's it for initiators, and we close out the four classes. We're going to add here, when the new duelist is going to be released, I'm going to add him to this um, pistol round guide as well, so look forward to that. I'm going to link the compendium, the entire compendium, in the description of the uh, episode. See you guys around. Thank you for watching.